It should have been an easy decision, but the Supreme Court blew it. In a decision that was divided seven different ways, the court allowed a 40-foot-tall Christian cross to remain on government property. The Bladensburg Cross is a 40-foot-tall concrete cross that's crumbling, it's in disrepair, even though hundreds of thousands of dollars of government money have been spent to repair it, that sits on a traffic circle in Bladensburg, Maryland. It is ostensibly meant to be a war memorial to all who have served and died in our wars, but it is a Christian cross, so it really only memorializes those who are Christian who fought and died, and not, for instance, the 25% of FFRF members that are a veteran or active duty. The decision was heavily fractured into seven separate opinions over 87 pages, uh, with eventually seven of the justices voting to allow the cross to remain. Justice Alito wrote the controlling opinion, and basically he said two things. One, this cross has been there for a really long time so it can stay. And two, that it's not just a Christian cross. It's also got all these secular meanings. And it should be pretty alarming to every religious believer out there that a court in our secular republic can declare something that is obviously Christian to be not Christian. Interestingly and alarmingly, Alito's opinion was bereft of legal principle or reasoning. It really did simply amount to saying, this has been here for a very long time and the community likes it, so we're gonna keep it. There was no real legal analysis that went into it, because if there had been, the court would have had to strike the cross down. Justice Ginsburg wrote a thoughtful and elegant dissent that was joined by Justice Sotomayor, and in it, she essentially said that, no, the government cannot secularize a religious symbol. Using the cross as a war memorial does not transform it into a secular symbol. By maintaining the cross on a public highway, the government elevates Christianity over other faiths and religion over non-religion. Both Ginsburg in her dissent and Alito in his controlling opinion mentioned the shifting demographics in this country. Uh, Alito to say that as the country grows more religiously diverse, this is the way that we can keep these crosses on public lands by pointing to history. And Ginsburg to say, as the country becomes more religiously diverse, these symbols become more and more inappropriate. And obviously, in our opinion, Ginsburg's got the much better side of that argument. It's days like this when FFRF's mission is more critical than ever, when defending the wall of separation between state and church is more important to every American, because the Supreme Court abandoned its duty to uphold our secular constitution. And FFRF will never do that. We are gonna to continue to fight for your rights. We are gonna take this fight to the state courts, to the state legislatures, and to Congress. And no matter what the Supreme Court says, we are gonna to continue to defend the wall of separation between state and church.